Yo, 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 Mark here for a Premiere Pro CS 5.5 editing tutorial. I'm also going to cover presets, how to make your own presets. Now, making your own presets is pretty important because there's going to come a time when you use these products that you're going to make a preset, like a color correction preset or an effect preset or whatever. Some kind of effect that you're like, man, I would love to use this exact effect again. Well, you can. Save it as a preset. It's very easy. As you can see over here, I've made three. Very easy. These little notes that I made to myself. Film look in your dusk. Uh, low, low E contrast looks nice in the shadows. And this one, a combo of fast color corrector and brighten. What I want to talk to you real quick about is these two windows here. Window on the right is the timeline down here. Window on the left is the video clips or sound clips or whatever clips you picked over here in the projects files. All right. So right now it's highlighted. I'm on this here video here. So what I can do if I want to add, because you know when you're editing, you want to add clips to the timeline. I don't want to add the whole clip and then chop it down over here, and it's going to get messy. It'll get you know really hard to do and start messing stuff up, and it's just it's a nightmare. So what you do is you get it to where you want it, right? Let's say I want it there. This right here is mark in, beginning the mark, okay? So that means when I pull it out, I can either pull just the video, just the audio, or I can pull it from here and it'll pull audio and video from where I start it and where I stop it. So I'll go to here and I'll, and I'll video out, mark it out. Now I can pull just the video, all right. If I want just the video with no audio, okay. Control Z deletes the last uh, thing you did. I can pull just the audio and have just audio if I needed it to be, okay. If I want to pull audio and video for the time that I selected for the slot that I selected, I'd simply click on here, hold it down, drag it out. Now it only has this section of the clip that I that I want. Ooh, and that's it. So definitely helpful. Definitely something that uh, you're gonna want to do. And you can do different points. Uh, you know, mark them points, and you can move between points. It's just really cool. This one goes to the beginning and end of timeline, and then you know you need to use these to go through the points. All right. And also, when you have the box is outlined in orange, yellowish orange, that means if I hit you know the space bar, it's going to play. Left and right arrows will move it left and right. Uh, and I click down here, it highlights this, and then this will work too. So, you know, it's one and the same. That's the same as this. Alright. Let's see. You can move, you know, the windows up and down if you want more room. This is oftentimes you don't use eight videos, eight layers of video. You just, you just not. Alright. So let's make a preset. Also, over here, so if I want to control, right now I'm seeing this right here. If I want to control uh, some of the features over here, I'm going to click on this and go up to Effect Controls. So I come down here, I've got all sorts of goodies I can mess with. Time remapping, volume, position, rotation. I can, you know, make it smaller, bigger. Uh, you know, I can rotate, I can move it left and right. You know, that's good if I want to do some windows. What I mean by like, I make them small, you know, make it go up here and have another video in there uh, and do things like that. For a preset, so say I want to do color, fast color corrector. Click on that, drag it over to where I want to do it, boom, like that. Okay, it didn't do anything, right? Because I, ha I have I have to mess with it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that up there. So I added that, and this is what we got. So if I pull it down, you'll notice it gets blue, up a little red, so on. All right, you can 
also mess with, uh, you know, these as well. Let me get it going. Saturation, super sat, less sat, less saturation. Mess with the levels. Brighten that day up. Darken it down. Then I want to add, so say that's what we want to do. So that's that's what we like. We like the way that looks, and we, we may, may want to use that in the future. So what you want to do is click on Fast Color Corrector. All right, then hold down the Control key, and then click on the rest of them, OK? Then you want to right click, Save as Preset. All right, then you can name it uh, tutorial preset description test pre test pre right. Click OK. So then I click under presets tutorial preset. There it is. Good as butter, right? Good as butter. So that is how you save a preset, make a preset, and uh, it's pretty, pretty easy. Hopefully, this helps out a little bit. Actually, I hope it helps out a lot. But um, yeah, so I mean, save a preset, uh, it's going to save you time in the future, especially when you find something you like. Like, I've got a preset. here that I love. Let's see which one is it. Fast color corrector. Boom. That one looks cool. Alright, so say you want to do a transition. Alright, you pull your clips together. So I want to go from this, you know, to this for some reason. Alright, so then you uh, find a transition. Now, they've got quite a few of them, and I suggest you just go through and try them all out, see which ones you like. Uh, dissolves are the main ones I use. You got dip to black, you got film dissolve, you know, at the end where it goes dips to black. That's that. Um, you can do just a, you know, cross dissolve. So you got to drag it, make sure it's showing both sides. And what will happen? You can see there, it's like ghosting, yeah, like that. All right. Um, you can do dither dissolve. Makes that. I mean, there's some really cool, really really cool uh, effects. Slide ones are cool. Where the heck is it? Slash slide. This one's alright. This one's kind of cool. I mean, there's just a bunch of cool ones. This is the part I love of creating video is, you know, editing and, and being really, really creative. It just brings out that creative side in you. And uh, it's just super, super fun. You know, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Um, but I, I suggest, you know, you mess around and, uh, see which ones you like. You can actually click on the transition up here and uh, you can actually you know mess with it and change it so it's longer, shorter, you know you can do it you know like this so it does some something funky like that. I mean you just got a whole mess of things that uh, you can do to uh, make it your own so definitely uh, something I encourage everybody to do and uh, you know I love Premiere Pro I mean I love it if you're gonna render out I would render out in Premiere Pro uh, you know I mean it's definitely the way to go you gotta make sure the window is chosen before you hit file and then you can hit uh, export media and then you're gonna get the box with all sorts of stuff up here 
And you can actually make uh, your preset yourself up here. You can do a preset. But I find, uh, you know, HDTV, uh, 1080p, high quality is good. Um, YouTube HD uh, is only 720p. It's not 1080. Not that it, eh, it doesn't matter that much. 1080p high quality, 20, 29.97. So, and then uh, you can go through, you know, and make sure everything's that to your liking. And then uh, you can make it happen. And you said export, and you can see you know what folder it's going to. You know, and you gotta make sure too. It says uh, work area. So you can do work area, entire sequence, or custom. I just do work area because I do change the work area. I, know, I hope this helps. Uh, sorry to ramble on. But, uh, I mean, I love Adobe products. And I love making videos. And, and I love my 18 subscribers. So, you guys are awesome. Oh, uh, I did uh, uh, put some freebies up there. Some uh, muzzle flashes and uh, I think some blood. There's blood up there, too. Uh, if any of you guys want anything... Uh, let me know, and uh, if I have it, I'll give it to you, you know, uh, that's just who I, it's just me, man, if I got something that can help you guys out, let me know, I'm more than happy to do it, if I have it, I'll do it, if I have time, I'll do it, you know, and I try to always make time, but if I have, you know, something that you guys can use, that you guys need, you know, I'm happy to do it, but I appreciate it, man, appreciate you guys, uh, taking the time to watch these little tutorials and these videos and uh you know it means a lot to me so <laughs> i'm gonna fucking cry now i'm just kidding man but no i really do appreciate it so anyways uh go to the website and there's uh, a page that says free stuff just go there obviously and uh there should be no surveys none of that crap i don't do any of that shit you know uh, I use four share, I think it is, and uh, I went on there and there wasn't any stupid surveys, nothing like that. So there shouldn't be. If there is, uh, you know, let me know. But there shouldn't be. All right, guys, thanks again, and I will talk to you soon. This is Mark from the May Nation. La, la, la. Shut up,